so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a product key for your node application. Okay, so I'm sitting here and editing it and I do realize that there is one problem and that is that you will have to give both of those secrets to the end user to actually decrypt that license key. So that means that if you don't hide it well enough in your application, people will be able to extract those two secrets and then generate new keys. So that's one problem with this approach. But without further ado, let's get back into the video. Now we're going to be using two libraries for this. We're going to be using this library, which is JSON Web Tokens, and then this library here. And we're going to be combining those two libraries together to make our product key. Now, the first thing I have here is I have two constants, which are my secrets. Now you do want these to be something else than one, two, three, and you want them to be different as well. And you want to make sure to make them long and you want to make sure to keep them safe. Because if somebody has both of these secrets, they can generate keys for your application. And then I instantiate the first encryption library. And this is our generate product key function. You can see it's very simple and the validation are also very simple. So all we do is that we use this library to encrypt a JSON web token. And here you can put anything in. This is an object. I've decided to put the type. We're going to have premium and basic accounts, but you can pretty much put anything within this object here. This is an object that will be encrypted in the product key, which you can later extract and view the data. So you can put all sorts of information in here. In the validation function, all we do is we do a decryption of this first library here, and then we verify this using JSON Web Tokens. Now, if you don't know what JSON Web Tokens are, and you don't know this library, they are very simple. Just see it as a library that is converting a string into something and you can only convert it back if you have a key. And we just do that two times with two different encryption libraries to make it extra secure. You could just do it with one, but I felt like two would be a little bit more safe. And down here we have an example and I will just show you it here. And you can see that we get these two objects. These two objects you would have access to in your actual application where you were verifying the product keys. And with those keys, you could determine what sort of functionality would be enabled. If we just remove the validation function, you can see the output. So the product keys that the user would actually see, and they would look like this. So they are a bit long, but most people are just going to copy paste them. If you want another video where I try to make a product key, which is shorter, then comment that down below. All right, guys, that was everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and guys, hopefully see you in the next one.